Hey guys, Thermal here. Today we're going to be looking at legacy raiding, in particular the Legion expansion, and whether or not it is worth doing it for the gold per hour. So right now we are less than a week out from Shadowlands release. Um, I don't really have much else that I'm doing at the moment, so I'm just testing some of the raids. Uh, obviously in a week's time I'll probably be level 60 and these Legion raids will be done a lot quicker. But in the meantime I wanted to see how much gold uh, each of these raids are giving and uh, the gold per hour at the current max level. So at the moment I'm at the Emerald Nightmare and for those who don't know where that is it's just where my cursor is here in uh, Valshara. So I'll get that underway now. Just finished the Emerald Nightmare, you can see I did it in 22 minutes 18, getting a total gold of 1,382, most of that being um, items that I vended. Uh, at this current stage that's 3,718 gold per hour, um, but it's important to keep in mind that when Shadowlands does come out, that people are going to finish this much quicker. So really, I'm just looking at the total amount of gold from that instance with the Legion raids because Shadowlands is um, going to be here in less than a week. So I'm now at Trial of Valor. For those of you who don't know, it's in Stormheim, uh, just where my cursor is there. So I'm going to get that underway now. <laughs> Getting it from? Okay. Cool. Damn you, Odin! Damn you! I've just finished Trial of Valor. You can see I did it in 14 minutes 23. Um, one of the problems I was finding with the first boss is uh, before you do Odin, you have to fight two people, but you need to split them apart. Um, I didn't know this mechanic for about the first three minutes until I realised, and basically. When one of them casts, the only way to do it is to move the other away. Um, usually if this was a fight um, in a raid, one tank would tank over here, one tank would tank over there. It would make it quite easy. But that's one mechanic that makes Trial of Valor a little bit harder and a little bit slower. Um, also, there is a dot that they cast. It pretty much suffocates you and lasts for 30 seconds and that is also I, I have nothing to dispel that so if I got that on me I also died so this time here could be reduced by a lot you can see I got 517 gold which is okay um, not as much as the Emerald Nightmare obviously and that gold per hour could be greatly improved um, by knowing the mechanics a bit better also, um, 
will be Shadowlands soon, so that goal per hour is going to be changing. I'm now outside the Nighthold, and that is in Suramar. It's kind of like underground, so you go through, a, I think, this spot here, and then it leads you to an underground place. just finished the night hole getting 1907 gold and finishing it in 29 minutes 37 which equates to a gold per hour of 3864 I'm now at the tomb of Sargeras and for those of you who don't know it's on the broken shore um, I just flew here and just where my cursor is get that underway now I finished Tomb of Sargeras in 34 minutes 23, getting a total gold of 1653, which equates to 2885 gold. I'm now at Entoran the Burning Throne. Uh, you can see that on uh, the cursor here, it's on Entoran Wastes. There is a long uh, quest line to get there to Argus, so if you don't have it completed already it may not be worth doing this one for gold it does drop um, a mount that a lot of people would probably want uh, if I just find that this one here Entoran Charhound so if you're 
after mount farming then this one's definitely worth unlocking um, otherwise we'll see what type of gold per hour it sort of gets and now I'm getting attacked so I might have to fight this guy Yeah, well, I was lucky to have this guy come and help me out. Brewmaster monks, for anyone who's playing them, they look pretty good. At least in PvP. <coughs> okay, so... Yeah, we're gonna get that underway now. He's back again. Go away. just finished in Taurus the burning throne you can see it took one hour and eight minutes that's the longest uh, raid I've done since I've started this series gaining 2051 gold in total bringing that to 1801 gold per hour so that concludes the Legion raids um, in order of which ones I think were the best would be the Nighthold being the best you can see 1907 gold with a pretty high gold per hour, 3864. Uh, second best would be the Emerald Nightmare, and probably third best, the Tomb of Sargeras. If you found this video has helped you or you enjoyed watching this content, make sure to leave a thumbs up and also subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. My next video is going to be looking at the four expansions that I've done so far, so uh, that being Legion, Warlords of Draenor, um, Mists of Pandaria and Cataclysm. I'm going to put together every raid from there, how much gold they made, how much gold per hour, how long it, it took. I'm going to discuss that in Excel spreadsheet, show some graphs, now, just for anyone interested in gold farming. It's probably better ways to make gold, but if you enjoy doing raids, getting transmog, trying to farm some mounts, then I'm going to go over which raids I think you should be doing uh, on a weekly basis for that, as well as which raids. Uh, you could log some alts out in certain um, outside instances in which ones are probably worth doing weekly, just to make sure you're maximizing on the gold you can get. One thing worth noting is that the Legion raids were quite um, difficult to do for a level 50 max. Shadowlands will be released soon, so that's hopefully when level 60, when we're all level 60, it'll be a lot easier for us to get through that. Um, but for now, the only difficulty I could 
do it on efficiently was normal. Um, whereas the heroic and mythic options were just too inefficient. It took too long to kill bosses, so you weren't getting uh, good enough gold per hour. And hopefully that changes with the expansion, and then you can, you know, set it on normal, do it, set it on heroic, uh, do the raid, and then set it on mythic, and, and do the raid, and maximize that gold per hour that you can get from each of the raids. Uh, I guess that's it for today, and I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. I look forward to seeing you all in Shadowlands very soon. Bye.